Welcome everyone to our Hatha Yoga class. Thank you for joining me, sharing your practice with me. Our theme for our class is opening up through our hips and opening up through our back. If you haven't already done so, please subscribe to my channel and click on the thumbs up button if you like the video. Let's begin our practice then on the mat. Beginning our practice standing. So come to the top of your mat with your ankles, knees, and hips in line with each other. Place your hands onto your hips. Standing up tall, tuck your chin in towards the chest, draw the tailbone down. Draw your chest outward. And drawing your chest outward, open up and then pull back. Draw your chest outward, open up and pull back. Inhale, open. Exhale, pull back. One more time, inhale, open. Exhale, pull back. Take your arms by the sides with your thumbs pointing towards the front. With an inhale breath, sweep your arms up overhead. Exhale breath, dive forward. Let the head hang. Bending through the knees to help soften through your hamstrings and your back and your head hangs. Sway side to side. Let yourself hang, we're ragdolling here. So we let ourselves hang, let everything go. Now feeling your foundation through the feet. Engage your hamstrings, engage your quadriceps and inhale, come up to halfway with your flat back. Exhale, release and fold. Inhale, coming up all the way, draw your arms up overhead and exhale, hands to the heart center. Now let's make our way down towards the ground, turning so that you're on your back and your head is towards the front of your mat. So opening up through our hips and our back, it's nice to just let yourself hang at the beginning of class and let everything go. It's also really nice to lie down. Let your lower back soften by bending your knees. You may notice that you can bring a hand or two underneath your lower back. I can definitely do that right now. So letting my lower back soften, I can place my hands underneath of my lower back. I can place a blanket or a towel, not too high, just about actually the same height as your hands and place it underneath your lower back and let it soften. Sometimes it's nice to do this before you go to bed at night, placing something underneath the lower back to let it soften. This is when you are able to check in to see how you're doing. Doing a head to toe check. Turning in towards your breath. Close your eyes. Let yourself take a moment here. That's really nice for being able to do different things through our class. So maybe a little slower paced right now to begin our class, to be able to check in with how we're feeling physically, emotionally, mentally. Check in with where you're breathing. Are you breathing into your chest? Are you breathing into your belly? Are you breathing into both? Is your breath shallow? Has 
Have you had a chance to be able to notice your breath today? Catch your breath. Notice any sounds around you. It is quite windy out here by my place. Imagine the wind sweeping over your body. Letting the wind take whatever does not serve you. Opening up your eyes and if your hands are underneath your lower back, place one, take them out and then place one hand onto the chest, one onto your belly. And let yourself feel the rise and fall your chest and belly opening up. The inhale breath and exhale breath, let yourself release. You want to open up through those muscles into the back, into our rib cage. Into the armpits, we breathe. Opening up your eyes, take one knee in towards the chest and then the other knee into the chest and give yourself a little squeeze. The lower back softens even more here with their knees coming into the chest. You may do this on the line on the side of your body too with your knees tucked in, making a nice core shape. Take the right foot down, left foot down towards the ground. Supine, and it's pitching this way or threading the needle. It's called different things. Figure four, and crossing your right ankle over top of the left ankle. I mean, left <laughs> left knee, not your ankle. Here, you may wrap your hands around the left leg and pick your foot off the floor. Draw the knee in towards the chest. I like to flex my feet to take pressure off of the knees. Feeling the stretch into the outside of the right hip. Helping to release through our lower back. Nice opening through our hips. With the exhale breath, let your foot come down towards the ground and cross your ankle and then cross the left ankle over top of the right knee. Threading the needle, figure four, wrapping your hands around the right leg, draw the knee in towards the chest, flexing both of the feet, then we hold. With the exhale breath, 
Release, foot down towards the ground. Taking both knees in towards the chest, right knee, left knee. Back into a nice little core shape. And then the legs coming up straight. Legs up the wall and then open up the legs into a V. We hold. Putting our stretch through the inner thighs. Opening up through the pelvis this way. Bring your legs back towards the center, bending through both of the knees. Take the right foot, left foot down towards the ground. Flowing movement for bridge, hands by the side of the body. See if you can touch your heels first and then hands by the side, palms down into bridge, always looking up towards the ceiling. Inhale, draw the pelvis up towards the sky. Exhale, draw down. Inhale, draw up. Exhale, draw down three more times through. Draw the navel in towards the spine, lift up through the pelvic floor muscles. Two more times through. And hold, release. Take both knees in towards the chest. Turn your knees out towards your armpits. You may hold underneath of the knees, so knee pits or ankles. Outside edge of the feet for happy baby, for the big toes too. And nice big opening through our pelvis here for happy baby. Let's rock side to side first, because this is what it's fun to do. And we hold center, let yourself smile. We release, knees back towards the chest and then right foot, left foot down towards the ground. Extend both the legs straight on the floor, arms overhead, and inhale, reach away, exhale, point away and then exhale. Release. Inhale, both directions reaching away from your center, sending out through the toes, and then exhale, release. Inhale, lengthen, lengthen, lengthen away from the center with your arms and legs, and then exhale, release. Let everything go. Take your arms back by the sides, bending through the knees. Take the right hand oh, or arm overhead. Roll over to your right side to fetal. And then exhale. Coming up, roll over to all fours and hold all fours here. That felt really good. Coming back into the heels, hold for a moment. Back to all fours, come back into the heels, hold for a moment. Back to all fours, one more time, come back into the heels. And then back to all fours. Step forward with the right hand, left hand into downward facing dog. Slide your shoulder blades down the back. Coming up to downward facing dog, we have our upside down V. Draw the heels down a little bit closer towards the ground. Bend through the knees. And then we take our knees over top. So bend all the way and take your knees down towards the ground about an inch or two. Let them hover back to downward facing dog. I put hand cream on before the class. Not a good idea. Okay, take the right leg up to three legged dog. Full three legged dog, opening through the front of her hip. Take your leg down towards the ground, other side. Leg lifts, three-legged dog. Come down towards the ground, back to all fours. Uncurl the toes and into child's pose. Nice big stretch into our back. Let the forehead rest. You know, the forehead may rest on your mat or your hands. Palms with your elbows down. A block two.
Slowly make your way up to all fours. Back into downward facing dog. So step forward with the right hand, left hand into the downward facing dog. Three legged dog again. Lift the right leg up, bend for the knee, and then turn the right knee out and hold. Opening through her hip. Flex your foot to help. It is a stronger hold then. Then slowly release. Take your foot down towards the ground, downward facing dog into the other side. Three legged dog left the lift the left leg. Flex your foot, bend through the knee, turn the left knee out. Hold. Release. Take your foot back down to the ground. Downward facing dog, bend through the knees, look to your hands, walk your feet towards the front of your mat, ankles, knees, hips in line with each other. Inhale, come up to halfway lift, flat back, bend the knees enough to help keep the back flat. Exhale, release, head hangs. Inhale, sweep your arms up overhead, coming all the way up. Exhale, hands to the heart center. Feel your foundation, place your hands onto your hips, bend through the knees, step the right foot back. High lunge, hold, then turn on the ball of the foot, take your heel down towards the ground. Left knee pointing straight ahead, arms up to shoulder height, reach forward with the inhale breath, exhale breath, rotate through the body and come down to triangle. You may look straight ahead or turn your gaze towards your thumb. Lift up through the arches of your feet. With the inhale breath, make your way up. Exhale breath, sweep your right arm up and over. Take your hands down to the ground. You may tap the fingers or hands down to the ground here. Hold. A little twist, place your left hand onto the left hip. Inhale onto the ball of the foot of the right foot too. Add a twist, inhale, lengthen through the spine, and exhale, rotate towards the left side. Take your hand back down to the ground. Windmill, right arm, left arm coming up. Inhale, lift. Exhale, bending both of the knees, step right to meet left at the top of the mat. Into the other side, bend through the knees and step the foot right back, high lunge, and then take the foot down. Okay. Inhale, lift your arms up. Reach forward, exhale, rotate the body to the other side. And hold. Again, you may turn your head. Turning towards your thumb. Inhale, make your way back up. Exhale, take your left arm, right hand down towards the ground. And either side of the foot, hold. You may tap the fingers and hold here, or left hand can come down, right hand onto the outside right hip. Add a little rotation. You may notice one side could be tighter than the other. The rotation, I know one side mine is. Slowly coming out of the twist with an inhale, windmill, left arm, right arm up. Exhale, bend the knees, step left to meet right at the top of the mat. Lovely. Into Malasana, it is a seated squat. Turn your toes out, turn the knees out, draw the tailbone down, come into a seated squat. You can do this sitting onto a chair too, taking your right elbow, left elbow into the inner thighs, draw that tailbone down. You can sit on a chair too. And do this, or you can remain standing. And take your hands to your heart center. Give me a mountain pose. Finding what will work for you. From the lasana, take your hands 
down to the ground, coming up and step or do a little jump back to plank. Oh, yes, I know you want to try that one. <laughs> okay. <laughs> and a whole plank. Back strength. Should say that this is the class for lots of strength through our core, too, because always, always, always firing our bandas, energy locks. Drawing the needle in towards the spine. Back to downward facing dog. Bend through the knees, look to the hands, and walk your feet to the front of the mat. Inhale, come up to happy lift, flat back. Exhale, release, hold. Inhale, seek your arms up overhead, coming all the way up. Exhale, hands to the heart center. Wide-legged forward fold is next. Bend through the knees. Step the right foot back. Turn on the ball of foot and then heel down. Turn on the heel and take your toes towards the front. All your two toes facing forward. You might want to open up your legs a little bit wider. Your toes can be pointing out. We inhale, sweep the arms up overhead. Exhale, dive forward. Bend the knees to help keep the back flat. Take your hands so that they are forward here. And sitting over towards one side here. It's going to be probably the opposite. <laughs> this is my right side. I'm sitting over to my near left. Never like to say. <laughs> Then walk your hands over to the other side, sitting over, checking that the knee does not pass your toes. Toes turned out. It's always a nice way to do this inner thigh stretch here. Take your hands back to the center. You may bend the knees enough to help keep the back flat. Draw your bottom up towards the sky. Let the head hang. Coming out of the forward fold. Coming up to halfway, place your hands onto your hips. Strong through your foundation, through your feet, and then inhale all the way back up. Shine your heart up towards the sky. Exhale, release, and hold. Turn so that on the ball, um, sorry, on your heels, so that your toes face forward now. Inhale, sweep your arms up overhead. Exhale, fold forward again. So dive forward again. Take your hands between your legs and in line with your feet. You may want to tend your fingers here, bend the knees as much as you need to help get yourself lower to the ground. Also, you can heel toe, heel toe, your feet out to come closer to the ground too. Elbows go through the center. Inhale, lengthen through your spine. Exhale, fold forward. The goal is to get the crown of your head down to the ground. Inhale, make your way back up. Just walking your hands forward first. Exhale, come up to halfway lift, hands on the hips. Inhale, all the way up, small back bend like before. And exhale, release. Step to the top of your mat. And turn, facing forward. Oh, standing taller. I feel like we've grown an inch. <laughs> Inhale, sweep your arms up overhead, making our way down. So half of a Namaskara A. Exhale, half of sun salutation. Dive forward, bend to the knees, hinge to the hips. Inhale, come up to halfway, left flat back. Exhale, take your hands down to the ground, step back with the right foot. Left foot, we have our big plank here. Hold. Jutting the body forward. 
take your knees down to the ground and lower yourself into the ground for up dog. So great to do this for our back. Inhale and curl the toes. Inhale to up dog. Exhale, downward facing dog. Bend to the knees, look to the hands, walk step or jump your feet forward to see it. Take your legs forward. Remove the fleshy part from your bottom. Come into straight legs, then take your hands behind your bottom, about three inches away. Your fingers are pointing towards your bottom. Draw your heart up towards the sky. Now this may not work for everybody because I mean, this is a big opening through our front of our body and wrists. You may tense your fingers and take them to the sides and hold. Okay, another way to do this too, that I'm going to do, so I'll just have my fingers about three inches away from my bottom and bend through the knees. Now that's gonna help take pressure off my, my lower back. Draw heart, your heart up towards the sky. You can also have your heels out. That'll even take off more pressure for your lower back. This is, these are all versions of tabletop. And then release. Okay. Let's just give our lovely wrists a little rotation, maybe a massage too wrists that we overuse. Okay, back down so that your heels are down. Lift your chest up. Take your hands behind your knee hits and right heel, left heel off the ground into boat pose. Pull your chest up. Pull the navel in. We pull. Lots of strength here. Release your right hand, release your left hand. Pull over boat pose. Look at your toes. Keep holding, engage your core muscles to try to take your hip flexors out of this hold. They're gonna to want to try to hold on for you, but don't let them release them. You need to have to shake your legs out. Hold that navel in and slowly release. Right heel down, left heel down towards the ground. Take your Left leg forward, right leg back. Okay, find where it's comfortable for you and then do a pelvic tilt. You can press that hip forward. You may want to even scooch those legs more forward and take your pelvis more forward and pelvic tilt that way and lift up. Add a little rotation here, rotating towards the left. Come to your breath. Inhale, lengthen. Exhale, hold. With the exhale breath, make your way back towards the center, just on your own time here. Turn to the other side, little hold and release into the other side. Take the right leg forward, left leg behind, and pull it. Sit up. Pelvic tilt. Finding where it's going to work for you. You just may want to be here and do a little pelvic tilt or add the rotation to a little twist. Come back towards center with the exhale breath and then twist the other side. Release. Sitting forward. Take the right foot in towards the groin and left foot in towards the groin. Sometimes it's nice to place blocks underneath the knees too for support. Sitting up tall with an inhale breath, lift, exhale breath, 
Pull forward and you can walk your hands forward. Let your head hang. And notice where you're feeling this stretch. Are you feeling it into the left side of your pelvis? That is definitely your goals, but you might feel a little bit into the right side of the pelvis too. Head hangs. Inhale, making your way back up. Exhale, release, taking your left foot in towards right leg in front. You may sweep your arms up overhead with an inhale and then exhale, pull forward and your head hangs again. So this, this time, right side of our pelvis, there's other parts of course with this, this stretch that it is into our, our back too that we're elongating, stretching through. The inhale breath, make your way back up. Exhale, breath, hold. And there's this lovely little spot into our lower back. It's called your QL that it is helping to release that area too with this hip stretch. Take your hands by the side and legs forward and give the legs a little shake, 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 shake. One more time, shake, shake, shake. And hold. Bend the knees, back down towards the ground. We roll over to our side and make our way back down. Knees into the chest. Take your right foot, left foot down to the ground. Bound angle. This is lying on our back with our legs in butterfly. So turn, turn the knees out to the sides. This is a nice foot pose to do if you do have a strap that you're tying around your, your feet and your waist. We'll, we'll do it again another, another time when we have our strap handy and prepared. Let your pelvis open up towards the sky. Take your arms down to the sides, turn your palms up towards the sky. And I talked a little bit, it's that QL that is at your lower back there that we help to stretch out in the last pose. This pose here, if there, there might be a pinching if it is tight. So you do not have to open it as wide. You can take your legs back that the knees are bent and pointing up towards the sky. And slowly close those legs, knees in towards the chest, the right leg, the left leg in towards the chest. Now, if you did have a pinching, this next pose will help. We take our legs up and over to the left side, arms in line with your shoulders, turn your head towards the opposite side, so weight of your legs. Close your eyes. Comes back towards the center. Legs come back, use your core, pull the legs back. And that the QL again, if it's on the other side, it's your quadratus lumborum if you you know, <laughs> two legs come up and over to the other side. You know, it's a nice way to remember that that 
and tilt lower back there. Stretch out through the spine. Always a nice this this stretch too for our rib cage. Sometimes they get sticky. So want to open them up, make e breathing easier for us. back to the center. Legs come back, use your core, pull back, knees into the chest. Legs up, faces straight up the wall. We hold. Take your hands and then reach for your toes. Reach, 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 head and shoulders off the floor and then back down. Do that again, reach up for your toes and back down. Exhale, reach up, inhale back down. Exhale, reach up, inhale back down. A few more times through. One more time. And release, knees into the chest, legs up, arms up, dead up. Inhale, reach your arm, right arm, left leg away. And then exhale, pull back. Inhale, opposite side, reach away, drop it down, and then exhale, pull back. Inhale, drop the arm, leg, reach away, exhale, pull back. You may flex the feet to make this movement a little bit stronger too. Use your inhale breath for support through our spine. One more time on each side. Knees both into the chest, then take your knees out to the side, back into happy baby from the beginning that we had happy baby. Finding where you would like to hold ankles outside the feet, toes. Open up through those hips, lovely. Bring your knees back to the center. Take the right foot down, left foot down to the ground. Take the feet wider than the hips. Windshield wiper, knees side to side. Movement. Fluidity through our pelvis here. Mobility. Back to the center. Knees bent, arms in line with the shoulders with an inhale, open. Exhale, give yourself a big hug. Inhale, open. Exhale, cross your arms opposite way. Opposite way, give yourself a big hug. Inhale, open. Exhale, big hug. Inhale, open. Exhale, big hug. Opposite way, release. Our final pose, Shavasana, doing whatever else that you would like to before Shavasana. You may lie on your back or sit on a chair, 
may come into seated for our seated meditation. Finding what you would like to do right now. You can put a blanket over top of you so you're nice and warm. If you're lying on your back, you can squeeze your glutes and then let them release. It'll help to release your pelvis. Take your arms away from the body as much as you like. Feel your facial muscles soften. Your body is heavy. Let it release. Enjoying this moment, being present. I will call you back when it is time. Slowly coming back, noticing sounds around you, noticing the surface you're lying on, wiggling your toes and fingers, a step maybe through your body, if you're lying on your back, gently bend through. Knees, 
bending through your knees, taking the right arm overhead, roll over to your right side to the fetal, take a moment. Then making your way up to a comfortable seated position. I love to sit on, on something too with my hips higher than my knees. Great way to take pressure off of the lower back. So anytime that you need to, you're sitting hips higher, sitting on something that'll help. Taking your hands to your heart center. Thank you so much for joining me and sharing your practice with me. I hope this has been a really nice class for you to open up through the hips and lower back. Leave those fat tension, those tight muscles. Namaste.